And, um, and let's allow that to sink in. Everybody seems to be taking and benefiting off of those in the Matatu sector, but not willing to put um, their investment into it to enable the sector to grow. That's really powerful. Um, let's uh, now um, get to hear about Joseph Atshege, who was in the Matatu business for 18 years until he opted out. He's now joining Faisal Ahmed to share his tribulations in the sector that he now says has a rough and tough operating environment. Faisal? Uh, thank you very much, Yvonne. As you rightfully said, we are here with uh, Josphat, who has actually been affected by the myriad of issues that affected the uh, uh, Matatu industry. But his specifically was to do with issues to do with um, the insurance provider that he had um, for his business. Uh, Josphat, asante sana kwa kuongea na sisi. Labda uweze kutuelezea ni challenges zipi uleza kupata uh, wakati ulikuwa unaweza kuoperate matatu na ulioperate kwa muda gani na nini imefanya ukawacha kwa matatu nimeoperate kwa miaka kumi. challenge zenye tunapata kubwa sana ni sa insurance tukilipa insurance gari kipata accident hawataki kulipa so gari zetu zinashotwa zinaenda zinauswa tunabaki bila biashara wanamaliza biashara mara moja uh. na sasa labda uniambie uh, gari yako ilichukuliwa lini na kwa nini ilichukuliwa na sasa hizi unafanya biashara gani? Gari yangu ilichukuliwa December tarehe 21 na auctionia baada ya insurance kuwataka kulipa ile ile pesa ilikuwa inapaa ilipa kwa wale claims. Yeah. Na aside from hiyo issue moja ya insurance labda uweze kutuelezea ulikuwa na magari ngapi ulianza lini na mpaka saa hizi uh, gari zako zimepungua zimekuwa ngapi? Nilikuwa na magari matatu sasa hizi mepugua ilikuwa imebaki hiyo moja tu yenye ilishotwa na insurance. Eh. Ilikuwa inabeba wapi? Ilikuwa inabeba Kayore. Eh. Na sasa sasa hizi labda ulikuwa unategemea biashara sasa hizi unafanya nini? Sasa hizi sina chochote ya kufanya sababu hiyo ndio ilikuwa nikitegemea kupatia watoto chakula kulipa nyumba. Sasa hii ni kuhangaika Nairobi kila mahali na hakuna kupata hata chakula ya kukula. Okay na uh, action gani unachukulia next sasa gari lichukuliwa insurance bado hajakulipa what next sasa nataka kuomba serikali igrie insurance walipe hiyo pesa ya accident ndio nishukuru nirudishie gari yangu ni endelee kufanya kazi kutafuta chakula Asante uh, sana Josphat Um uh, uh, Yvonne, as you've heard uh, Josphat's case is not in isolation I was speaking to a few uh, matatu operators and they're saying that with uh, the advent of the pandemic uh, and with the government trying to reduce the number of passengers in the vehicles uh, coupled with uh, the moratorium that was lifted by the CBK instructing loan in, uh, uh, people who had facilities with the institutions to revert back to the amounts that they were paying plus um, the increase in fuel prices has actually driven most of them out of business and uh, these auctioneers um, are coming for their vehicles just to give you an example last week monday there were over three um, full pages of uh, vehicles that were being auctioned and uh, speaking to some of those people who we were talking to earlier before we joined you they were saying that some of their vehicles were actually on that list that was published in some of the local dailies so these are some of the issues uh, that are actually facing the industry just what spoke about um, the insurance industry but it's actually bigger than this it's um, to do issues to do with um, the government's directive to reduce the number of uh, passengers that they are carrying by half and the bank still demanding them to pay the full amount that they had borrowed uh, after the government had lifted uh, the moratorium Yvonne. Yeah, uh, Faisal, uh, that's correct. And indeed, even though they're carrying, what, is it way less than what they were carrying before? They're still paying advanced tax per seat, um, even though they're not filling their seats uh, and their buses and, and vehicles to capacity. Faisal, thank you very much uh, for that. Shoko, sijui kama umesikia yule ambaye amekuwa kizungumza na reporter wetu hapo Nairobi. Kusiana na changamoto za insurance na kufidia magari mkipatwa na shida accident ama nini uh, na tulipoongea kabla tuende hewani uliniambia kwamba hizi ni changamoto ambazo pia wewe umepitia mm. hebu tueleze kidogo kuhusu hiyo changamoto ya insurance na kama kuna changamoto zingine ambazo mnapitia katika biashara yenu mm, changamoto ile tuko nazo sasa hii ya insurance wakati insurance company wakati ikakuwa regulated na government sisi mm. tukakataa insurance hiyo ni sheria imeikuwa na government government ina ina inavaa high enforce ndio eh, wananchi asiumie juu tunaambiwa tulipe premium insurance tunalipa premium insurance 
na wakati inafanya accident claim inafika insurance mm-hmm. company walipi mm-hmm. na most of them Kenyans wamekuwa maskini na hiyo kitu sasa hiyo kienda ya yote gari yote imeshikwa gari mingi ya watu imeshikwa mm-hmm. sasa tukiongea yangu iko mbili imeshikwa gari ya milion kama tatu uh, tatu milion sita mm. na nikapeleka complaint wapi na wapi ayare mm. nothing na mi, hakuna mtu anashughulikia mwingine mm-hmm. na juu tunaumia wananchi ya Kenya inaumia ina jua hata government ya Kenya hashughulikii watu wa matatu